All right, so I'm back, and today um, we're going to do another rant of the week. I know it's been a while, and I haven't even uh, done the um, viewer responses yet but um, for the last two, but it's, <laughs> those were like a month ago almost. So I figured uh, I'd just do a new one. Um, uh, so this is something that's been kind of bugging me for a while, um, and that's uh, ordering. Um, you know, different venues to order and such. Um, now I know we've talked about this before. Like, you know, where do I like to order? And the number one choice for me when it comes to ordering is the chosen. Um, yeah, the, the chosen prime. Uh, Captured Prey is pretty good too. Um, I'll order from Big Bad Toy Store because they usually have a bigger inventory. And the um, cancellations on the... Uh, just cancellations in general are so easy. Um, you know, you just hit a button, you cancel it, and you get the store credit instantly. I mean, it's it's so... You, you can do you know, so much of it without having to talk to customer support. Um, Chosen Pride, though, is, is by far the best when it comes to pricing and shipping. Um, I mean, free shipping after 150 bucks. And it's uh, priority mail. Um, they do an excellent job packing everything. So I always I always say they're the best when it comes to stuff like that. You know, TF Source has free shipping too. But they use uh, the uh, FedEx. Um, what is it called? FedEx Smart Post. Which... Means okay, it's in it's in Denver. I could go pick it up and have it by the end of the day, but no, it's gonna jump from shipping facility to shipping facility for three or four more days before it does that, and then it's gonna go to the wrong address anyway. It always does. It, it always goes to the wrong address for me. I always have to track it down. Um, it's just, ugh. but um, yeah. And I've, we've also talked about, uh, you know, pricing and how, you know, the fans are, are one of the worst people when it comes to the pricing on figures because we're the ones that uh, keep bidding the items like on eBay up to the point where now it's pretty standard that Sky Masterpiece Skywarp is, what is he, $1,000 now? Uh, I don't have my phone with me, but uh, it's like... Ah, you know, shit like that. It's like, we priced it that high. It, it wasn't like retailers that are like, okay, we're running low on this because the, all the retailers had, you know, when they had, had them for $200, they kept selling them for $200 until he was gone. Uh, and, then, and then it's the aftermarket pricing. Uh, but the one thing I... Hey, Ty. Ty's here. <laughs> you guys can't. Uh, the one thing that's been bugging me more than anything lately... Because, you know, we're all guilty of it a little bit, you know, of the pricey game. Uh, I did it the other day. Well, I mean, I, I posted it for a decent price, and then I just let the bids go up. I mean, I didn't sit there and say, oh, I want set amount of money for this figure. It's more of a, oh, okay, I'll start the bidding at this. You guys do whatever the hell you want to, and I'll take the money. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and that's how a lot of people think, see it too. It's just kind of like, oh yeah, you know, I paid you know set amount of dollars for an item, and once it goes you know past that set amount of dollars, great. But as long as I break even, but it's the um, the thing that's really been bugging me lately is the um, the word mint. Um, <laughs> Okay, you growling at me, or are you yawning? Uh, the word meant. Um, all right, so when you're order, hey, come on, you gonna knock over the camera now? <laughs> um, when you're uh, when you're looking to buy something, um, Facebook po Facebook posts are are do this a lot. Um, some people, and I'm not calling out any one particular person. Um, it's just this is just my opinion. That's why it's rant of the week. Uh, yeah, and I see it on eBay. Um, okay, so there's three different terminologies. In case you are not aware, if you're maybe just getting into it, most people are already aware of it. But there's MOC, which is mint on card. 
uh, MIP, which is mint in package, and MIB, which is mint in box. Okay, let me get you an example. This, I picked him up the other day, just because I could. Uh, this is mint in package, or you can say mint on card. Uh, or you can even say mint on box, or mint in box. You know, it, it's technically not a card, but, you know, whatever. This is a mint figure. Okay? Mint on card. Alright, now he's open. Got him in hand here. Guess what? That's no longer mint. I mean, it might be in perfect condition, but he's not mint. Especially not mint on card. I see so many people say mint on card, and they have a picture of the package next to it saying, all you gotta do is put it back in the box. It's like, no, it's not mint on card. It, it, it's loose. It's a loose figure. If it comes with the package, great. You know, but it's still a loose figure. You know, this thing could be in immaculate condition. It's still loose. It's not mint on card. I, <laughs> that, that's the thing that I've been seeing. And it's just like, that bugs me. It's like, I, I've been collecting for a very long time. And before I even got really super heavy into Transformers... I was always super heavy with like Marvel Legends or just straight Marvel figures before Marvel Legends were even a thing. I mean, I was collecting figures since the pretty much the day I could buy a toy, um, and, and I I never kept figures in package, so I never would sit here and tell you I have um, Neca Predator. He's mint. No, he's not. He's he's loose. I mean, I would not ever call this mint because he's not mint. I will say he's in great condition. Uh, no packaging. Uh, you know, but he's not mint. I it, That's just my opinion. Once it's out of the box, especially third-party figures... Uh, once they come out, like, you know, I, I could, I, I could see that argument say like, well, mint means like it's complete, you know, and there's no damage to it. So it's like, you know, had I not just destroyed his packaging to get him out of the box, you know, I could transform him a couple times, you know, and throw it back in the box and say, oh, well, he's mint. Um, and uh, some people might agree with that. You know, I, I could, I could understand that. I, I, I could. Um, now... If he was third party, like let's take Apollyon for example, um, a lot of people have had the same issue with Apollyon where they transform him once and there's some paint chipping or some of the ju joints won't go quite back together right. Um, I'm not here to bash X Transbots, which you guys know my opinion on them, but the point is, is that once you transform it, it's not quite the same. So you can't say transform, you know, Apollyon for sale, transformed once, mint in box, and, and say that it's been transformed once. It's like, no, it's no longer mint. You, you've transformed that one, and thus it, you are creating some small damage to the figure. Easily repaired for some of us. You know, I mean, I bitch about stuff like that all the time. Uh, you know, stuff that I can't, you know, that you know okay that was bro i'm very competent on fixing things i just you know i i have to sell it you know if it's if it's broken it, it, it's the point that it broke not the point that i could fix it easily you know oh hey this joint is super loose i yeah i could fix that in a second but the point is is that it it shouldn't be that way anyway you know i see i see it on ebay where it's like okay this this here's uh, I was just looking at it the other day. Um, Armada Thrust. Uh, the red colored Armada Thrust. Uh, mint on card. And they show a picture of it opened up. And he, he, they show him in bot mode and then jet mode and then back in the box. And it's like, that's not mint on card. That is that is not mint on card. That is complete with packaging. 
not Minton card. I know I'm nitpicking a little bit on this one, um, but it, it does bother me because you know some people are trying to sell. You know some people are just following the trend of calling. Oh, this figure's mint. You know, uh, some people may not know the difference, uh, and you know maybe I like I said maybe I'm like glaring at it too hard, but. For me, it's always that's always how how it's been, and but there are some people too that I know are selling figures that um, they know are not mint, and they're putting it in a box and they're calling it mint, and you get it and you open it up like, ugh, this was not mint. Um, there's serious damage to it. I, I bought a um, scourge from TF Source and it says mint in package. And it came in, and it's clear the package was taped back together. Um, Beast Wars Scourge. And the chrome on it just completely flaked right off. Uh, so I was like, nope, uh, that's not mint in package. Uh, you know, that definitely has been <laughs> out in the open for a while. Um, and, and, and for people like me, you know, it might not be a big deal for a lot of people. Uh, you know, you're still getting the figure. Uh, you see it's open, and maybe you might be able to get a little bit of a better deal than you would mint. Uh, but for me, it is a big deal. Uh, because when I purchase something new, I want that new figure. If I'm buying a lot or, um, you know, a used figure, I, I'm expecting a used figure. I'm not expecting much. Um... But when I buy something brand new package, it's the fact that I'm the one that's opening this package. This is my toy. I'm opening this. This is this. You know, no one else has touched this thing. Um, you know, and that to me is a, is is a really big deal. I know it doesn't sound like much to some people, but I, what's your guys' thoughts on stuff like that? I mean, when you buy a toy and it says mint, are, are aren't you expecting? something fresh like case fresh you know you're just opening it up for the first time and it's like ah uh, uh, <laughs> I, I think that might be part of it too is <laughs> um fun fun fact is um a lot of times with that uh, like hasbro or or whatever put figures in the packaging and they seal it up the paint has a hundred percent dry so there's that little bit of a stale uh wet paint fumes into the package so when you open it up you know a lot of times when people open it up and go ah fresh toy it's like no you're huffing paint dude <laughs> um, uh, which is hilarious because I, I used to do that all the time I, I would buy go out and buy like all the transform all the new transformers and just ah and then I'd set it aside and I'd open the next figure and it's like I hadn't even played with the first one um so, yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, what's your guys' thoughts on that? I mean, do you guys care? Am I being too critical? Uh, I, I just... I, I, I saw one on one of the Facebook posts that... And this is the one that was like, okay, broke, broke the back kind of thing. Okay. Uh, mint on card... Transformed a few times, slightly customized, and it's like, whoa! <laughs> no, just, just no. That is nowhere near mint now. Uh, your customization might be excellent, but it's no longer mint. Uh, that figure is far from mint. I, I, you know, like I said, I will sell if I sell a figure. Let's say masterpiece. Rodimus Prime, and I have all the stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna say, um, you know, complete, excellent condition. Uh, I might say complete with box, uh, but I, I won't say mint. I, I won't sell it as a mint figure if I've got it out and I've played with it a few times. It's just, it's not a mint figure. Um, yeah, of all the masterpieces I've kept, I've got. Uh, well, I've got my this my review station. Uh, figures. I got ro Hot Rod, um, which I'm going to be using as a Chug Rodimus Prime. I mean, he scales perfectly. He really does. I mean, look at this. 
There's Hot Rod and Springer. I think that's a perfect Rodimus Prime, don't you? Uh, so anyway, what's your guys' thoughts on, on this this particular topic? Uh, am I off ship or if, uh, am I just completely nuts? Which is pretty likely. Um, I just like I said. I mean, it bugs me a lot, you know, to have a figure that's not mint when it's sold as mint. Um, so uh, I'm I'm off for the rest of the today, and with any luck, I'm going to be able to knock out a few transformer reviews um if i have chance uh yeah it sucks because it's like okay i have a day off and it's just like but i have to do this and 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 this all within you know a certain time frame and it's like kidding me no i don't even get a break on my break day off because it's like i'm so busy during the week that i don't have a chance to really sit there and and get all my stuff done. So, and I gotta get Utopia packed up. I didn't even get a chance to review them. That sucks, but it's okay. It's okay. It's going to a good place. And with any luck, he'll have a review up. Uh, it's going over to Deluxe. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'll probably do a review on this guy soon, too. Uh, I'm a big fan of pipes. So I was like, you know, why, why should I buy third party pipes? Well, I can pick this guy up for 10 bucks. I know he's not right, but he's right enough for me. It's fucking pipes. All right.